Porter's uh, five forces, which typically uh, shape up the industry profitability, which play an important uh, role in uh, deciding the in deciding the competitiveness of the industry in the long run, and uh, how should an analyst look at evaluating? Uh, the industry profitability, if at all uh, he has to do some kind of uh, uh, analysis with respect to equity valuation process. So, in in a, in a simple uh, sense, what we see is the the Porter's five forces model is an important aspect in deciding the profitability of the industry in the long run. Why we talk about long run is in the short run to a large extent I see that the profitability is divide, dependent on the demand and supply. So in short run probably uh, all these industries, structure, competition, buyers, sellers all these kind of forces may not impact the profitability at all. So if I am looking at from a medium to long run kind of a perspective, yes, the, the five forces of which are defined by Porter, they play a role in the company shaping up its competitive strategy and based on that positioning itself towards the profitability aspect. As we all know, the key five factors that are deciding the uh, the industry profitability are the threat of new entrants, the threat of substitutes, the bargaining power of the sellers, buyers as well as the competitors. So these are some of the uh, uh, important things that actually uh, play an important role on the industry profitability. If I want to look at one by one. The threat of new entrants is heavily characterized by the barriers to entry. So the barrier to entry can be created by any mechanism, but if there are higher barriers to entry, it means that the existing players need not be under threat. because. It is very difficult for a new player to enter into this industry. So the price wars, cutting down of the prices, price based competition, all those things may not exist in sufficiency which means the existing players will definitely have some level of pricing power. Then what are the various uh, factors that can influence the barriers? economies of scale. The existing players, they are operating at economies, they are having very good positive economies of scale. They, they were able to optimize their costs drastically. Most of them are producing large volumes at lower cost. So for a new player to enter into this kind of a market, it becomes very costly in the initial stages which may deter a new participant entering into the market. Similarly, product differentiation can create or break the barrier to entry. If the existing uh, players have already differentiated heavily on the product, they have created uh, their own quality, their own brand value then if at all a new customer if at all even a, a new player enters into that market the existing customers shifting to that new player will take a, a, a heavy amount of switching costs or probably even it could uh, it becomes difficult to move from one brand towards a new brand because the existing brand has already created uh, 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 a quality addition to itself so switching uh, may not be desired by the existing uh, customers sometimes heavy capital and infrastructure requirement huge deposits are required huge uh, infrastructure needs to be built up so the new players 
they may feel better not to enter into such kind of an industry or from a customer's perspective also the switching costs are very high probably if, uh, if the customer has to leave the particular uh, uh, company or if he has to switch from a particular company there are huge costs involved apart from uh, uh, apart from a new uh, player being identified even if uh, a huge penalty needs to be paid off or such kind of uh, 